morning, Chris Corrales, Medicine Evolution, Body Work Beyond Massage. Um, today we're here at the Alternative Therapies for Wellness Expo, and um, I'm here to talk about back pain, low back pain. Um, let me tell you a little bit about who I am. Uh, again, my name is Chris Corrales. Uh, how I got into alternative medicine is a question that a lot of people often ask um, because it's an up-and-coming field and uh, we're all pioneers of, of, of the work that we're doing. Um, so I was a very sick child, uh, pretty severe asthmatic, and I would have to go to the uh, emer emergency room a number of times uh, a year. My mother was an RN and she realized that the, that the medicines weren't working very well for me. Uh, actually, I was getting sicker. So, being an open person in the medical field, she would bring me to uh, different practitioners like massage therapists and acupuncturists, um, acupressurists, and things like this. And I had I had some revolutions uh, in health from those particular things. Uh, and so, throughout my life. It, was something that was important to me uh, and I would find myself going back to it for different types of ailments or even simple injuries that, uh, that you didn't really need to go to the doctor for but they would leave r residual symptoms that, uh, that kind of kept my performance at, at a low. So that's how I got into my work. Um, I was actually on the path to becoming an acupuncturist and I was very close to uh, the teacher at, um, at a school in San Diego when I received uh, work from who would become Oscar De La Hoya's uh, body worker and trainer. I was in the, I was in the uh, locker room with a shoulder injury, did a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu international competition at that time and uh, my shoulder range of motion was limited and, and there was so much pain that I could hardly train. So he asked if he could work on my shoulder and he did for about 30 seconds and, and I, my shoulder range of motion was about up to here and, and painful. In about 30 seconds he cleared all that out and I was amazed. It wasn't massage that he was doing uh, and so I inquired as to what he did he kind of guided me through the process, but didn't really tell me what he was doing. He didn't give me a name. Uh, eventually, what he, he had me go through was a series of sessions with him that completely transformed my life. Uh, each session was different, and I, I had residual issues from, um, from sprained ankles. Uh, again, my asthma was bad, allergies. Um, my shoulder, low back pain was a serious issue. I had, I had neck and shoulder pain. Um, a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioners get that. Uh, I, I, and I, there are other things that I didn't know I had and I didn't know that could be helped with the work. But what happened through that process was all of those pains went away. My body felt lighter. I felt more, more graceful, more fluid in my body, um, more self-confidence. And just in general, throughout the year, uh, I was more healthy, a lot less sick. And so I took this path um, to get to, to, to go on to body work um, and took a detour from acupuncture. So the body work that I went to study is called, um, is most well known as rolfing, uh, but technically it's called structural integration. That's basically what I use in my work here. I'm the only practi practitioner from Walnut Creek to San Jose um, on both sides uh, from the, on the 880 and the 680 corridors. Um, and I've been doing it for 15 years. I work for, with a lot of different people. Um, low back and back pain is, is, it was really my specialty for a long time. And I've gotten quite good at getting people out of pain in those areas. Uh, and then it's, it's just expanded from there. You can imagine that basically a lot of our ailments are from structural issues. Therefore, from the structure not being right, 
and therefore the function goes off, and the function can lead to an organ. Um, when that happens, you get, you get systematic uh, symptoms, uh, things that feel like you're, you're sick internally, uh, that, you, that, 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 that you might be chasing with the wrong type of uh, treatment. Um, so low back pain is something that I'm really good at, but other people come in. I mean, people come in with uh, brain trauma, uh, fibromyalgia, uh, gout. Um, but all of these things can basically be, be resolved when the, uh, when the body is structurally aligned and, uh, and things are more clear for, for, for the body, the nervous system, the brain to process. Uh, so about low back pain, low back pain uh, is something that about at any given time, 31 million Americans are affected by it. Uh, at least half of all Americans will be affected by back pain sometime this year. Uh, we spend about $50 billion on back pain, uh, and that's just a rough statistic. So there's a lot of back pain that's going on, and personally I think that it, it's not very hard to get out of back pain. Uh, and it's, it's, it's important uh, to... to find ways out of it because it could snowball into other things and it could um, really impede your life and, and, and uh, make your quality of life, uh, you know, can, can really cut down on the quality of your life. Um, so I have a few things in, in low back pain that I want to give you today. Uh, one of them is just simply keeping the gaze at the horizon. Uh, Looking down is something that we do when, we, when we're thinking. And how many of us are, are, are in our heads most of the day? So a lot of the time, and I see a lot of people do this, people come into my office with this, and it's almost a small breakthrough. There's a breakthrough that occurs um, when, when you just keep your gaze at the horizon. It shifts the entire spine. It aligns the spine. Uh, a lot of people are into... Uh, helping their clients gain posture through, through kind of bringing the shoulders back. And what that's doing to me is just it's, 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 it's producing tension in one part of the back. It's just it's moving tension from one place to the other. And that's not very helpful. Um, tension up here in the shoulders transfers right to the low back because the low back has to, uh, has to effectively um, carry and support what's going on up top. So when the top is, 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 is weight forward, um, then the low back has to, it handles that stress and it compensates for that imbalance. Um, so just a simple thing like keeping the gaze at the horizon wherever you are, whether in your car, when you're w walking around in the grocery store, whether you're sitting at your desk, that's a, that's a, that's a great thing to utilize. Um, Another thing you can do is, uh, is just start to move in your chair. If you're a person who sits, uh, walk. Every 30, every 30 minutes, get up and walk 40 steps. Um, that's going to get energy, fluid, and, and, uh, and movement through your system. Those are things that you know, they're, they're, they're important for, for the well-being and, and, and for the uh, organic flow to... to uh, to occur in our bodies. Um, it's, it's important for health. It's important for, for uh, good quality life. Um, it's important for happiness. <laughs> uh, so uh, setting your gaze at the horizon, um, walking 40 steps every 30 minutes. Uh, the other thing is just, just to get, start to get that pelvis moving. When you're in the chair, get that pelvis moving. Um, it, it, should, it should be able to rock forward and back um, by, by bringing um, uh, arch into the low back, uh, contraction and expansion in the low back. Especially when you're sitting, it's a great time to, it's a great time to move. When you, do, when you are experiencing low back pain and, and, and you're sitting, uh, always look to move in your chair. That's probably, that, that's when you'll take care of it. When there's pain, basically the body is doing one thing. It's trying to communicate with you. Is trying to communicate there's an issue. Either, either uh, the mechanics need to move, or fluids need to flow, 
or energy needs to, needs to go through. So those are three things that you could do to get out of low back pain. Again, this is Chris Corrales at Medicine Evolution, Body Work Beyond Massage, Dublin, California, April 2013. Thank you. Mm -hmm.